Let's check that out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you ready for this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gentlemen, Stacy Gibraltar. I'm your trainer for the next couple months. Just because you don't scoff doesn't mean you're enlightened. Fact is, over the next few weeks, you will despise me. And come July, hopefully, we'll be lifelong friends. We'll meet here every morning at six to prepare for the combine. After lunch, you hit the court. Have you received your first week's supply of food and supplements? Yes, ma'am. It's not the army, fellas. Loosen those shoulders. Make sure you follow the instructions exactly as they're written. Otherwise, you'll just be wasting your time in here. Stretch out, boys. Yes, ma'am. All right, all right. She's real. She's real. <laughs> Replenish. Uh, Catch. Oh, man, that was good. How'd they do? They finished, so better than some. Better than some? That's not really the uh, report card I was hoping for. Uh, guys, funny story. Uh, there was actually a kid two years ago who had to change his shorts about halfway through his first workout with Stacy. What? That's foul, man. Yeah, I know. It was gross. Uh, anyway, he didn't really get drafted. I think he's in Uruguay now. Not really sure why I told you that story. What is this, 50? 15. Okay, weird. Okay, A.W., you can chill. And, uh, Che, I need you neat and tidy because we have a meeting in an hour. A meeting with who? Who knows, man. Come see. Come on, Bailey. <laughs> Later, Stacy. Bye, oh, Zach. My back, Stacy. Bon chance. Whew. Hey, you want to tell me what we're doing here? Not particularly. Mav will see you now. Great. You mean with Maverick Carter? Yeah, man. Act natural. Guys, look, unless we're talking real partnership, we're not going to be interested. I won't be able to get LeBron to move off his couch unless it's equity. So thanks. Sorry to keep you guys waiting. Have a seat. It's all good. So look, uh, Mav handles all of LeBron's marketing and off-court opportunities. The community work, the film, TV, the Beats deal, and of course, the lifetime contract with Nike. Hey, how do y'all know each other? Z and I go back a ways being in this business, but the thing I appreciate about Z, besides being a great agent, is he really lets his players grow and make their own decisions. See that? 10 out of 10 review. I gotta add that to my Yelp page. So look, Che, look, I like you. Bron does too. But here at Uninterrupted, what we focus on is really giving athletes a voice, really giving them a platform to become more than an athlete. Hey, uh, tell them what you told me on the phone. Look, I know you're focused on the draft, and that's the right thing, because that's most important to you, but we've talked to a couple brands, and they're interested. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. They saw what you did at Bay City, and most importantly, they're interested in your story. But look, before you get excited, you got to realize one thing. These aren't like super rich deals that are going to change your life. And there's nothing wrong with taking these short deals along the way, as long as you don't sacrifice the long money. Yeah, see, look, Jake. Uh, in the grand scheme of things, these guys are putting down loose chains to tie you up for like a couple years. Now, if you flame out, that's the cost of doing business. But if you blow up, they just got Fifth Avenue product for Canal Street prices. And right now you're hot, but along the way, you have to figure out what type of player you think you're going to be. Forget what Z thinks or what I think. What do you think you're going to be? Do you think you're going to be all pro and all star? Or do you end up overseas? But you really got to focus on getting to that second contract because that becomes life-changing. So, you thinking about what Mav said? Mm-hmm. Got any wisdom for me, Mr. Super Agent? Well, in my opinion, it never hurts to listen, but I'm not you. I can't tell you what kind of player you'll become. Might as well take the money. Show me the money. Your mouth, okay. I'll set it up. Tell him, bring me my money. Yo. Che. Carl, what up, bro? What up, man? Appreciate you coming out. Just trying to get this work in. Oh, it's all good, bro. Oh, come on. Uh, listen, I can give you the whole spiel about Gatorade's lab, tech, products, and history, but let's be real. What have you been drinking at every single camp? at every game, at every part, 
since you could dribble the rock. Gatorade? Exactly. And what's your flavor? Citrus cooler, man. Long live. <laughs> exactly. Hey, listen. Pretenders can never compete with the original, and that's just facts. Hey, bro, that was a pretty slick pitch you got there. Right? And I even have to use the like mic bit. <sighs> You know what's going on here? Je ne sais absolument rien. Do what? <laughs> Woo! Cheat day, boys! Celebrate! What are you talking about? I'm talking about the fact that both of you just got your official invites to the 2019 NBA Combine. Yes! Yes, you've earned it, Che. Good job. You I wasn't too worried about. I mean, look, you may already know this, but you're being brought up to Chicago for some interviews and measurements. No scrimmages, no testing. No sense in jeopardizing your stock at this point. In fact, just do a few good team workouts, and who knows, you may even move up a few more spots. But, see, I'm not afraid of competing. I know, I know, A.W. Look, it's not about pride, okay? There's just no upside at this point. Rest, you know, show them you're the big dog in a bit. You, on the other hand, Che, just look. Put up some decent numbers, do well in the scrimmage, and you never know, right? Like, guys like, uh, Levine, Siakam, I mean, they all flew up the boards after Chicago. This could be your time. I mean that. Speaking of Chicago, enjoy the deep dish, gentlemen. Personally, I'm not a fan, but uh, <laughs> bon appetit. <sighs> French. <laughs> all right. Tell me. I just need an inch of space. Just kidding. Knockdown. Bang! I can do that too. Look, uh, uh.